Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. And Harley Designs. We're here. We did it. We're, we, we are here. We have been preparing slightly behind the scenes. <laughs> a little bit behind schedule, the, but that's because we're doing something neither of us have done yet through OBS. So, this But is, the, you know, the good news is, is that we haven't properly tested it. So. <laughs> right. True. Also true. So you guys are our guinea pigs again. Yeah, you know, you get what you pay for here. <laughs> that really actually hurts the people who have donated money. I know, in the past, but, but exactly. <laughs> well, for you know, you should see what I do for them. <laughs> uh, well, I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Um, is that is what day it is, right? It, it, some it means Wednesday here. Oh, okay. It's a well, different day somewhere. It could be a different day here. I can't remember at all. Uh, nice to see you again in in the uh, digital space. You're looking a little cooler than usual, a little white today, but uh, sorry, that's okay. I'm trying to okay. see why I don't have sound. Oh, no, ec no echo, no sound. Well, I'll keep talking. Um, it's yeah. been a busy week for me. I actually have been uh, doing a little bit of work again, but all remotely from home, um, which is. Uh, fun and interesting and exciting and uh, pretty rewarding for my clients, which is a is a very cool actually. They're we're doing everything through Zoom chats okay. and I can share my screen and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So it's actually been really good, really rewarding. Well, I think I've got my audio sorted. Sorry everybody for the the uh, mix up on my audio side, but I believe it's fixed now. We'll see. I'll let the comments catch up of everybody saying I didn't have audio, and then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, everyone can hear you on my channel, so uh, that's good. Yeah, I, I am, uh, of course, trying new things every time instead of just making sure. Making sure everything works the first time. Right. Uh, well, you know, I mean, we all have our strengths and weaknesses, and yours is, I don't know, preparation, I guess. <laughs> yeah it's the uh it's the the constant want to just oh i should try this and improve right improve it, oh, oh improving so every, okay. every time. it's not about the, being ready it's about being even better each time exactly but only Got part it. of the video Got not it. the beginning and not anything <laughs> oh the money's already We're, rolling in oh well they couldn't hear that you see they didn't hear my <laughs> Let's see what happens. Right. BT, thanks very much for the 20 bones. Um, he didn't forget about last week. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, that's really great. That's a nice way to start it off. Uh, and um, Right. We, we've actually, we do have content prepared for this week. Um, it, oh, we have man. big content. Man, a lot happened between last Wednesday and this Wednesday. Uh, we talked a little bit about... Um, a certain movie trailer. <laughs> right. The movie Flying Cars. Flying Cars that's right. Which, <laughs> which is a an RC focused or surround? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know I how you say I feel like it. it's RC centric in its, in its subject matter. Um, RC okay. is sort of... I have done my best yeah. and you've not watched and it. held off on yeah, watching you it. You haven't watched it. All I know is from the, the, the comments uh, the comments I've heard. Right. Yes. Uh, and right. I, I shared a few of my thoughts on the channel last week and as luck would have it um, <laughs> as luck would have it <laughs> the producer and uh, the director of flying cars just happened to be watching our shows <laughs> which uh yeah. is to it's uh, you know it's amazing it's it's awesome but it's also a bit scary right. because uh <laughs> <laughs> you know uh art is subjective and everyone has opinions um and i definitely shared a few of mine uh and despite that um they weren't angry they were actually pretty cool about everything, and they 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 realize that the movie that they've made uh, is definitely uh, 
going to create some opinions. And I, I think that uh, in their best interest, any press is good press. Uh, so they graciously allowed us to sh screen the trailer on tonight's show, which is, pre which is right. pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what this is. Right. Yeah. Open minds. Open minds. Um, you know, it's a it's a movie uh, that so far I I've only seen the trailer that we're going to show here tonight, um, and uh, it's a bit it's a bit musical. It's it, it's all music. There's no dialogue in this trailer, so uh, we're going to have to use our imaginations a little bit to kind of get the whole idea of the story. Um, but I think it comes a, it comes across pretty clear. What we'll do is, uh, in a little bit here, once we kind of get settled and everyone's in and liking the videos and everything, we'll screen the trailer uh, all the way through once, and then Josh and I will kind of go through and actually like pause it at certain points, and we'll talk a bit uh, about each of the scenes that we see and try to gather a bit more um, understanding about what's happening in the movie right but uh, yeah essentially uh, it's a rom-com uh about rc cars <laughs> I, I just i just i'm, I'm trying to <laughs> this is just a, it's just not a phrase you've i've heard before so right I, I, you know and I, I i praise the the filmmakers for doing something that hasn't been done and there aren't a lot of movies about rc at all if i'm honest no, you know, and you again that yeah, it's it's not always the most exciting thing to to try and make a movie about for mass appeal. At least as much as it, I love it. Yeah, without having you seen it yet, at least it's not a movie about crawlers or uh, <laughs> uh, scale comps or anything that would be way more boring. <laughs> Um, I did get a donation of twenty four ninety nine just to to one up you. It says oh, just to top Matt excellent. from Jibs. Well, the, from Jibs. the joke is on and, me already uh, because it's already it comes up as twenty dollars here, but it's really more like uh, twenty six dollars. So you know, with the conversion, I, I see. The conversion and all with it, right seventy one cents. On and the and then uh, Eric who gave me a dollar ninety nine says I watched. So Eric was the one who I actually heard about this from first. Ah, okay. Um, official Black Turtle. He he's who I heard about it first. He they've got a podcast called like RC Hangout, and they're gonna have the directors. Dave Hill, yes. Or, Dave Hill is the director. Yes. Yeah. And he's he's going to be talking with them. Oh, so very cool. He was, he was the first person I heard this from. So anyway. Excellent. He. He, I think he's excited. And yeah, I had my, my video froze for a second, but I, I got it fixed pretty quickly, I believe. All right, good, good, good. Um, should we... I, I mean, I'm excited <laughs> for this. I, I know I'm excited too, and I've got it all queued up. Um, and we tested it to make sure everyone could hear it, uh, so there shouldn't be any issues well, there. Um, right. I'm ready to hit I, play. I think I am... T Before we do it, this... Do you know where this, I guess, the one question I have now that I thought about it, where can, can when can people watch this or where? That or? is a, you know what? The, <laughs> the producer and the director asked, asked me if we had any questions for tonight. And I said, you know what? Let's, let's screen it. Let's see what happens first. And then we'll ask you some questions. So I don't know where you can see it. I okay. presume that it'll be on streaming services of some description. Or it'll be like available for download by a purchase. You know, like sometimes they have that sort of like a, a, a download key right. or whatever. Um, but we'll, uh, you know, what I'll do? I'll I'll edit the description, and I think I can do that while this is playing, right? Okay. I think so. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah you can. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, the website. I'm going to add that. To the, uh, okay. That that would be it. That would be a good one.
Pretend nobody saw that. We'll start it again here in a second. Uh, BT sent me another twenty dollars, yeah. so I, uh, he wouldn't let me. You wouldn't <laughs> top me, which is really nice. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, apparently I it's in am... iTunes. Uh, Phil Fernandez says it's in uh, iTunes. If you want to download it from iTunes, as well. oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eric sent me a flyer here, yeah. which is oh, it's a press release thing, which I can't read on this screen right right now. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, so are we gonna are we gonna switch over to this thing? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm ready to go whenever you are. All right. Ready? Now, well, I've I've got it pulled up here. Okay. The one thing is, is that I don't know if I can if I can hear this either. Oh, all right. Okay. So, I I guess you ran into that problem, I right? Did. I'm going to do one. We're, we are going to play this all the way through one time, right? Yep. And then you can play it like okay, offline I have... and watch it, and then we'll keep going. All right, here we go. Right. The official screening. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you all right? Okay. <laughs> I can hear I can hear Nicole in the background. So, okay. Um a few things. A few th Okay, so for me, I will I will say this. <laughs> Without the testing side, that was a silent teaser for me. Right. Right. Well, there is there is a musical like a song that goes with it. Was so none of the vo none of them talking was was captured. No, not in, in not in the trailer. No. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so there, there's a few things about that 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 I feel. Can, can we start it again? Yeah, you by all means but, go right ahead. I, so one thing I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to start VLC in the background so yeah, I can listen so to listen the to audio it, yeah, at the same time sure. that that's playing. Sure. But I have to mute you to do that's that fine. so I don't have two tracks of audio going. That's fine. I, I just got to do this one more time. Yeah, All right, you, go, um, you go ahead. I'll play it again for everybody me. as well. So. Hold on. I'm, uh, I'm turning it, not starting it. Hear me over it. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you down so I can listen to this. I'm gonna start both these at the same time. Sure. All right. Going now.
Pause. Pause. <laughs> I'm, I'm why, paused why was he hi- where you are. Why was he hiding behind the truck? What? what? Did I? <laughs> right. Um, what? Okay, so, so my theory is that the 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 protagonist the man um he's obviously quite bored in his life and he needs a hobby so he's he, he's not have he's not enjoying the time that he's spending on the couch with his wife no, right clearly clearly so what he's done is Clear. he's gone and secretly gotten into RC so he's he's gone and he's picked up an RC8 of all things um which is where all beginners should start <laughs> um and uh, and that actually I think comes up in one of the clips, but I'm not going to spoil that. Um, he he must have been hiding behind his car, like painting it, maybe. It is that what it? <laughs> so, oh, painting. He's painting the body for the car, for his little for okay. his toy car, his RC that, car. That that does not that was not apparent to me. <laughs> I just. Just like see him pop out from behind his car, just like dodging, yeah. like. Because <laughs> and in between the wall and my car is where I paint too, though I get that. So he's um, got a small garage, let's say. I don't even have a garage. And if he was if he was painting it, you know, I'm sure she wasn't able to smell it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> um. <laughs> Having I've I've seen it, so I have my thoughts. I, you know, I, I I'm just replaying a little bit on the side again here, and you know he's. I I don't know what to think here. I, he looks overdressed for an RC track to me. I well. Yes, in comparison to the other people there, absolutely. But he kind or of compa- he's got it. He's literally has a necktie on. <laughs> okay. Did aside? Did you miss no, that? No, no, I saw the necktie. Uh, aside from the necktie, though, don't you I, think he kind of just... dresses like me? Um. <laughs> so I'm just I'm playing this again, trying to get to the like I'm. He's at his bench uh, and he has a necktie on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, as you do. Don't don't we all work with a necktie on? <laughs> on our RC cars? No? That's not a thing. I will I will say that being how focused in RC it is, I would watch this. He doesn't there's no time Oh wait, yeah, there is. He must have come right from work. Right? Like he must have gone like Ah, oh crap! There's a there's a race down at uh, the RC track at uh, three thirty this afternoon. I gotta get down there. <laughs> Doesn't everyone work from home now? <laughs> well, that's true. Is, is, are all movies gonna be dated now? That yeah, they went to work. They, they, <laughs> w- they drove their car to a place. <laughs> Nobody has cars anymore. We just order all of our food in here. Right. I the what oh okay I missed part of that there so the the super excited driving stance portion I, I oh when they're like out bashing in the field yes yeah you know yeah that's the, the, this is comp stance I have I have a stance just like that <laughs> you know you've seen my I I get a pretty good comp stance going. Dri- driving between the legs with an eight scale buggy as a newbie. <laughs> I know, I know. There's a lot of and look. I think you have to suspend some. Uh, yes, exactly. It because it is a movie. Yeah. About what? Obviously, right. There's just fun. The filling the the super intense shock oil scene. I can only imagine the. the <laughs> I need to go back to that. A lot of people have commented on that. I don't remember that specifically. Was that towards the beginning or the end? That was oh, towards the end. Yes, that's right. Uh, um, oh, he's, they, he's already got the shock mostly. No, I, okay, all right. Um, 
He's using TLR oil in an associated car. I'm, I was looking more at, did you see that jumps? Like, I don't have a way to easily get back to that. I don't have to go back. You see how excited he was about the jump that he seemed to clearly really, really miss? Yes, and that gets explained in one of the clips that we have as well. Oh, okay. 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 That's... So, don't, don't get too okay. excited yet. That's... All right. I'm 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 okay with that. that but... <laughs> <laughs> and then stealing a sheet of plywood from a construction site. Always uh, you know what? recommended. Uh, right. That's uh, <laughs> building a ramp together, jumping over a house. So oh. let's, say, oh. let's say that obviously this other girl, um, who I think na- her, her character's name is Rachel, she um, is obviously way better at racing than he is. Um, why, why do you think that? Well, because she's she's because she doesn't wear a necktie. Because she's got a team associated hat. Yeah, she's she's not wearing her business clothes. She's got an associated hat. Uh, she knows what kind of car it is. Okay, oh, but I know that because I saw the clip. Um, okay, well, I haven't seen that. She she's also it looks like she's training him. It's almost like I imagine she's Mr. Miyagi to his Daniel son. Wax on, wax off. She teaches him the way. I'm sure that I'm sure that's the end goal. <laughs> but <laughs> um, the, yeah. So the the sneaky around, you know, yeah, the sneaking, sneaking around, around on the wife. I know that makes yeah. me a bit nervous. At the heart, that's a. That's not a great. Ah. That's a rough one because, uh, you know, like there's that scene where they're at. She's uh, the wife is driving up as they just cleared the house. Yeah, that's a real a real downer to your your big accomplishment. Yeah, she shows up and I think, uh, you know, that's going to be the end of him hanging out with her. Oh, I mean, definitely was the start of the fighting scene. Yeah. The sequence at there's least. There's a lot of there's a lot of quick cuts, and it looks like they go on a road trip, maybe, to race their cars somewhere else. Some sort of I'm, national I'm actually, event, maybe. I'm, I'm looking at uh, so there people are talking. So it says so Matt has more clips. Uh, we both have the other clips, which we will we will play. We will, yeah. Um, but this is <laughs> the 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 one I like here. The comment from Jesse Schultz. Or, he says, uh, buys $400 RC, steals plywood to build a jump. <laughs> there is some logic <laughs> problems there. See, I, I didn't I didn't even think of that. Like, For sure. <laughs> plywood, is like, plywood is like $10, it says. I think plywood is more than that, but still. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be buying the $10 stuff. Um, uh, I, I will say that, you know, we have to remember that it's a lot of work and a lot of expense to put a movie together. So hats off to them for doing that. It's pretty amazing that it's it's even been made. Because I, you know, it had to have been a passion project. And I think that that's something we have to give the filmmakers credit for. Is that, you know, without having seen the movie. And it's not fair to judge a movie just solely based on the trailer or a couple of clips. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for it because I want to see it all the way through. I, I have to, I yeah. have to watch it. Of course, it, it's all. It As would be it. a real disservice to the whole process that we're going through right now to not watch it, and just yes, you know, I will chalk it up to um, some comedy. You know, I mean, it's it's definitely gonna be worth watching. I think, and I'm I'm keen to find out what happens. I want to know more. I really do. I, I'm yes at, at this point I mean I've I'm intrigued <laughs> exactly I've I've sat through movies I known were terrible right just so that I could see someone else's reaction right yeah <laughs> let alone this let alone this one which now I am generally interested to watch yeah so I I think the trailer's done its job in that it's it's given you enough information <laughs> to, to make you go well hold on a second I need to see this now uh, so good on them for doing yes. that. It's uh, difficult to put I will, a trailer together. I will say that. Yeah, and and coming from the entertainment industry as I do, 
I, I definitely have to give them credit for, for doing it because it's not easy. And uh, I, I've, I've struggled with short films and documentaries. Uh, doing a feature length film, I wouldn't even begin to be able to fathom. So good on them. Good on uh, Dave Hill for directing this film. And uh, thank you again to them for sharing this with us and allowing us to, uh, to put it out here today. So that was, that's very cool. You know, a couple little things that I think really capture the the RC scene, which is the quick cut of the guy vaping. Oh, it's, I, I, I know. Uh, as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, yes. They they actually went to an RC track on a race day. Like, yep, this is real life. Yep, <laughs> this uh, is exactly what can, it looks I like. I can smell the, the watermelon bubble gum <laughs> from here. Yep, 100%. I want to know who the angry guy is in the jean jacket. Oh, I'm actually perfectly paused on that. That's what I'm looking at the, right now, too. The wool line jean jacket in Southern California. <laughs> I guess people in Southern California think it's cold there sometimes. It looks like he's got a Jeep behind him, too. That looks like a Grand Cherokee or maybe a Compass. I can tell by the grill. I, yeah. Yes, it definitely looks like it. it I hope it's a Grand Cherokee. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a Grand Cherokee. But he's so animated and angry. I want to know who that guy is. A lot of tattoos and a lot of beards. Uh, and it looks yeah, like it... there's this one scene with Rachel in the foreground and all these people rushing onto the track. So I... I th well, it's the battle royale that happens at the end of every final. <laughs> so everyone just... For those right, who don't get RC <laughs> uh, Yeah, there's a lot happening here and i'm really keen to see the rest of it i really am because there's also a scene I, I, yeah. where his i presume wife or fiance is singing in a band yeah at the end yeah. it really gets chopped up these quick cuts through this trailer just go like i don't know what happens at the, but at the very end right before the the final flying cars banner flies at the end yeah. he looks very unhappy in a fairly empty apartment on what almost looks like a futon. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a bunch of moving boxes. Which is the, the true background. start of any great RC story. Oh, I wonder. How Living by yourself in a <laughs> with a futon. There's also a scene where his fiance is in a bikini and they're kissing. This movie has it all. I'm. It's got all the things in it I want to see. I mean, yeah, that's. I've got to see it now. He smashes a ramp in anger. It doesn't look like a very well-built yeah, ramp. It didn't look like a very well-built ramp. I agree. It needs but, more bracing. You know. Definitely needs more bracing. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I, I have to read this comment out of out of comedy. By all Even means, go ahead. We don't we don't know we don't know the qual quality yet. It says, uh, "Damn it! Now I have to watch this shitty movie." <laughs> We don't know if it's a bad movie. We don't know. We it's, really don't. I, I think that it's probably going to surprise you. I'll say that. Probably in a good way. That's an, uh, that's an interesting bet. Uh, no matter what, I will gladly support them and thank them for the opportunity to play this. Absolutely. Play this trailer. Yeah, that was very cool of them because you can imagine two Ding dongs like us <laughs> saying things about a movie we haven't seen. Agree. They could have been and, like, "Well, you know, to heck with those guys. Forget it." Exactly. You seen how these guys make movies? They run behind a toy truck with a GoPro in one hand, like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That um, that was pretty entertaining. Um, and uh, I mean, if you're if you're keen, we could probably set up. Uh, another clip here. Yes, we can. Um, I have to change the the video source. Yeah, I'm gonna add one right now. Um, which one did we say we were gonna play? Do you have the file names handy there? Um, let's see. I I renamed mine. Let's. Well, the very first one was. 
Thank Sorry, you. it's playing again for some reason. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, the <clears throat> meets Rachel one. Meets Rachel, right. Uh, okay, stand by while I figure out which one that is. Because for some reason, every time, every time I uh, go to look at one of them, it starts playing it. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh. Which is super annoying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me it's... find which one that is here real quick. No. While, while we do that, I would like to uh, thank Chibs again for his very generous donation of $99. Whoa! And then, big and money! And 99 cents. Wow, we. That's crazy. I'm, uh, that's amazing. Thank, thank you, Chibs. That's very nice of him. All right. Yes. Yes. So, and uh, while we play the Meets Rachel clip, uh-huh. we're going to, uh, I have to mute your audio again. Okay. I just want to make sure I've got the right one going here. Yeah. And. Sorry, it keeps playing. This is really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> It's playing again, and why wouldn't it? You're, you're very good at this. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> at this is what what it is. Okay, uh, all right. I've got the ki- the clip queued up here. All right, I'm gonna mute you, and uh, I'll let you know when we're starting. All right. All right. Um, let's start. Hey, you checking it? Uh, yeah. Looks like she's running the race. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, drive, short course. Uh, it's... It's It's an RC 8B3 four-wheel drive. That's... She knows exactly what the car is. you know that eight-scale buggies are, like, the most competitive, right? Are you saying it's screwed? How should I know? She's got a little attitude. (laughs) There you go. That's the the clip. (laughs) Okay, so that there's where you got the the information of her being. She's some of an more. expert, a top rated right. amateur, let's say. So yes, that's. I I, I mean I, don't, I didn't get a warm fuzzy from her right the first meeting. No, no, she doesn't strike you as the type of person that. Um, oh, oh, sorry. BT just sent me some more money. <laughs> you know, at this rate, thank you again, but at this rate, I'm just going to retire. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. one, 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 one. Nice. Um, yeah, cool. So uh, that's the scene where uh, the protagonist meets this new love interest. And I can definitely tell that they definitely hit it off right away. Right. Sorry, I, I still had you muted. I oh, forgot. My bad. Sorry. Uh, what I was saying was, in that scene, I can definitely tell that the two of them really hit it off. Uh, fast friends, if you will. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That. Oh, so I'm I'm screwed here with the. Why does my video keep freezing on my face? <laughs> um. I, I'm more intrigued. I, I think that the uh, the trailer. I wish the trailer would have had some dialogue. I know. I think that there's there's two different ways of doing a trailer. There's the the kind they did, and then there's the kind that have dialogue and bits of uh, pieces of dialogue to get you intrigued and want you to watch more about these characters. So maybe they missed a, right. the, the mark on that. Um, but uh, maybe a, maybe a little more of it at least. Yeah. Just. But, your son. but from what you saw there, like, does that change your opinion at all on that clip, or does that make you think that? Um... Well, I, I feel like it just it gives us a little bit more. 
I don't know. I just feel like it, it, it maybe at least connects you a little bit more with them. Yeah. So, at all. Yeah. Like, you know, but I, I'm more intrigued now than I was before. <laughs> right. Good. Okay. Well, there is another clip. I, I don't think we'll bother uh, showing this one. I think we've given people a pretty good indication of what the movie's all about, but I definitely recommend I think so as well. you watch it. Uh, download it from iTunes wherever it's available. I'm I'm gonna do it tonight and probably watch it tonight because I'm. Uh, Can we watch it tonight? I, well, I thought it doesn't come out to the 18th. Oh, is it the 18th? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna watch it whenever it comes out. Yeah, do that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, because that is great. That's great. Um, yeah. I, I'm excited. I'm excited too. for this now. Me too. More so Even than if, it was. Even if it's corny. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't think that this. like I don't think that matters. If you look at movies like what was that, Sharknado? That was horrible. Just awful. But it did really I never well. saw I never saw Sharknado. Well, you're not missing much. Right. Imagine a tornado with sharks in it. Yeah, exactly. It was that's kind of what I wondered. Kind of where I got got from it. Yeah. So so yeah, there is there is that. Um, okay. Well, if, at least we got to the main part of this right away, and now I'm now I am I'm actually excited to to watch this. Oh, uh, Voodoo Truckin had an interesting theory, and I don't know if he's seen the movie or if uh, he's suggesting this as a theory. But he says the two of them get married, him and his fiance, and then she makes him sell the RC collection, and then hides the new one that he buys from her behind the car. I think it already leads on that he doesn't know what he's buying. Yeah, so, so I don't think that theory works because yeah, he's like, he's like, uh, I've got uh, this. Yeah. That so uh, I've got these. Your your new RC ten. Yes, my, uh, my yeah my brand new RC ten. Your, your recently scored RC ten at uh, least. Yeah, I'm really super excited about this if I'm honest, and it's a great segue. Thanks again to the filmmakers for sending us the trailers and the clips. Uh, really super cool. Uh, I guess it'll be on iTunes, and I've got a link in the description so you guys can check out where to watch Flying Cars. Right. Uh, but here is my new flying car, um, and I'm not copying you. I've always wanted a gold <laughs> pan. Uh, this one's seen a little more use than yours. Um, right. I, uh, I emailed my local hobby shop um friend uh roger and i said hey hey Raj, have you got any vintage stuff in your uh basement at the shop that you might want to uh not have anymore so i could do a fun project on the internet and he goes well i've got this uh gold pan uh would you want that and i said yes i would and uh now it's mine the really cool thing about it is that it is truly original um I'm going to lift off the top here and show you first. I mean, you've seen this because I sent you pictures. Right. But that's um, that's about as mechanical a setup as you can get. Jeez. <laughs> There's a lot Is of that... really cool features in, in this uh, on the inside of this car. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the, the vintage side. I just... <laughs> it, yeah, I know. It, it scares and frightens some people like you uh, but there's a lot of cutting edge technology in here uh, first of all um, that is a 7.2 volt 1200 milliamp hour racing battery from Kyosho I presume it's NICAD yeah and it looks <laughs> it looks quite original <laughs> yeah I think it, it's uh, it's made by Kyosho so it's probably very good um, yes there is a mechanical speed control with some very hastily taped up wires. Um, there's a wicked ass heat sink on that thing. So, cause I, those things just blasted heat out of them. I'm not sure if you ever had to deal with one of those, but never once even <laughs> it's one of those things that you could constantly, like if you touched, if you touched this part right here, like this yeah. white part, you'd get wicked burns. I burn myself Jeez. a number of times on stuff like this. There's a lot of scary wiring. Um, the servo 
interestingly enough, is not, uh, and you know this already because you built one, not screwed to the chassis in any way. Right. No, just it's sort of taped well, into place. This one has is some. That how the, this one has some wire around it. I, I have. I feel like the one that I just built had. Oh. Some. Yeah. Okay. Right. Because you did. You had what was it? A world's car. Reproduction. It was a. Yes. Re re worlds. Right. So that one had the three gear transmission. Does that a six gear? Oh, it did. Okay. Okay. So they kept the six gear for the the world's car. I, yes, I believe. So. I just remember putting together these two plates and. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, now I. I think so. That the one the gold pan that I put together was or is, um, Fast Eddie's yep. kit. Yeah. And I just I assembled it. He's selling that car, but I, I mean, I think that that is truly a car for nostalgic people. Enthusiasts. Nostalgia enthusiasts. Anyway, uh, it's in pretty right. decent shape. It's all there, which is really great because parts are a little bit harder to come by nowadays. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video series on it where we show off the car in its current state. I'm going to tear it all down, sonic clean everything, uh, and then get some uh, reproduction or replacement parts as best I can and update the electronics a little bit. Uh, get the transmission in working order, maybe even get a secondary pan so uh, I can sort of save the scratched one, uh, do a whole new set of hardware, and that's going to be coming soon. That'll be a fun video series, I think. It's it's really fun to kind of go through this old school stuff and see what you had to do in order to make a car work. There's so many more parts. Just seeing the differences in, in construction styles with you know like the posts that go down in the top of the the shock tower to hold yeah. the wing mount they're just a an interference press fit style yeah. like if you asked consumers now to do that on a new kit they facebook would explode yeah yeah it sure would <laughs> just, oh i know yeah there's a there's a it's a really it's really interesting to see these old cars and how they were put together yeah i mean it was I, I tell you what though, I didn't get that same like I didn't get that same feeling when I built the Ultima. Right. Well that's because they updated a lot of those parts. They made that thing work so you could put a brushless system into it and not explode it. it yeah, well I mean and just the the style the oh, construction. Yeah, the, of course. The way the chassis pan is put together on that Ultima, the Yeah, but the the difference in time between the Ultima and the the RC10 was like gosh I want to say almost 10 years I think I I could s totally see that yeah. it's slightly different construction anyway so that's what I'm working on next what have uh, what have you got going on man um, <laughs> I I've got a bunch of projects that just I I want to keep continuing to work on I'm still working away on the the woods runner project um that one is just a one that i keep continuing to to enjoy working on as i go um i've got a few things coming for it which i'm looking forward to um and then you know i've got video updates that i want to do on things that i've already worked on like the the ifs wraith i want to do uh, something on that the bomber still is it's up on the top of the shelf there you can't see but uh i've got more a lot more stuff to put in that and finish that car because i'm looking forward to to driving that yes i think that truck's going to be a lot of fun truck for sure um so then let's see i uh i mean i've got to get the super sales scoop Super scale suspension. Oh yes, yeah. super uh, super scale. Super scale twenty twenty. Yes. Uh, that one done in the uh, in the Kyosho Phaser, the Camaro. Right. Yeah. So that thing's almost done. I've got six more pins to wire, <laughs> and then it, that one's ready to go, and I can get a video done. Cool. Can't wait to see that because that uh, suspension system is very cool. 
<laughs> yeah, and that one, that one's gonna be fun. And then after that, I've got uh, one chassis, well, a new truck entirely in the in the works. Oh yes, which which I'm looking forward to that. I showed you pictures of the the base design, um, and that's going. That one was waiting on me to for some for some things before that can really get fired up. But that one's going to be fun. Yeah, that'll be a really nice build. So, and then, you know, drag, we've got a big drag race here this weekend. Oh, so a socially distant I, one. Yes, of course. <laughs> so, should, should be. I just went dark. I think it's only there. like, oh yeah, there you go. Uh, I think that one's going to be like thirty some odd people or something okay. like that. All right. um, is it so, a, a cash pretty based size. one? Like, are you doing like a bracket elimination list, stuff? list race? Cool. List race, yeah. yeah. So pinks to You're giving up your a, car to a, for your pinks. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, establishing the the top ten list oh, here dear. in your area. Oh boy! Right, uh, I've heard there's some fast guys locally. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Uh, I've heard though that these things get pretty heated. The guys, yeah, some people I, you take know, it very seriously. Just, you know, the old Nicole better hope that there's no other, you know, females hanging out at the. <laughs> right, you'll you'll be <laughs> she'll lose you to some some drag floozy. Walk, <laughs> run off in the distance with our ramp. <laughs> Get back here with my wood. <laughs> oh man! Well, that'll be fun. Are you? Is your car ready to go? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, it's it's running. My car's running, driving right now. Yeah. It's just not not fast enough for that yet. No. Um, just because I have the the stock system in it. But oh wait, do you have a DR10 or is it just the no? You still have the DB10. Okay, right, right, right. right. I still have the DB10, yeah. but with the same. Yeah, I brushless. I I've, I've been playing with mine a bunch and I I think my biggest mistake was trying to do a sensorless system. It, I think it has to be censored. Um, and I've got to adjust the, the pinion and spur combo and change my weight distribution around a little bit and uh, you know, everything basically. So, I'm glad that there's nobody doing any drag racing around here quite yet. Although there is a <laughs> A Southern Ontario uh, drag racing league, so I think there's at least ten or twelve guys that are into it now. So soon. I was trying to figure out if that made any sort of clever acronym, but <laughs> I, I <laughs> Southern don't think Ontario. It does. <laughs> Why now your 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 box is huge? There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oh, the comment here. Nicole's going to leave you for a real drag racer. <laughs> uh, questions? But, questions. Uh, yes. Somebody's got here's, questions. I have a good one oh, here. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. It's from Stabby Josh. It Stabby says, Josh. Uh, Stabby Josh, yeah. Uh, now that Axial Fest Badlands has been pushed back to July yes. and Axial Fest California has been canceled for this year, um, what does that do to... Well, your plans and oh, my plans have changed. Um, as far as my government is concerned, they're definitely not opening the border before uh, the end of June. So I don't think I even could have gone. Well, no, it would have been in July. Yeah, so I no. could have. I could have gone. Uh, that's the current plan, so far as I know. Yes, July, mid July, sixteenth yeah. of the eighteenth. Yeah. Uh, Badlands. Uh, I'm still. I'm still going to be going to that, as far as I know. Right. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Badlands got pushed yeah. to 16th to the 18th yeah. of July. So, yes. So uh, I'll still be going to that one, um, but I'll probably drive down um, so I can, you know, limit my exposure to people. Right. Yeah, you can kind of control that a little better. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's the plan for me still. And I know that uh, East Coast Scale Challenge is in August, and so far that's still on. Um, so I'd likely be going to that. Uh, and then November is Nats, so I'll be going to that still, presumably. Well, yeah, Nash, Scale Nationals is supposed to be in November, but no, no permits have no. been issued or 
anything confirmed. So right now, it that's just a hope that that's right. going to happen. Right. Okay, well, here's hoping. Yeah, agreed. You know, it's... We'll see, yeah. for sure. This has definitely put a damper on a lot of people's plans. I can, uh, I can attest to that. Well, yeah, and, you know, Axial Fest... And I, I'm concerned about any event in California in 2020. Yeah, I know that California is a little more stringent on the rules than other states. Um, you know, and the, the, the only thing I can say about all of this is that we'll only know... Like, we won't know we the collective we won't know if we've done too much but we'll always know if we did too little so you know without being critical right. and not getting into any of the partisan politics or any of that nonsense um you just kind of got to roll with it you know and it is what it is yeah they yeah, only only so much we'll have control over anyway yep. but yep it know. would be a total bummer I... though if there weren't any major major events to go to because it's what I look forward to every year. Right. You know, and it's, there's so many big events out here in California yeah. that normally that's, you know, I have the opportunity to go to a ton right, of them. Right. Exactly. Well, I mean, even just the majors, like by the fire, um, axial fest, uh, the RC four wheel drive event, um, crawl for a cure. Um, yeah, you're wearing the shirt today. Um, huh. squirrel fest, Squirrel Fest was Oregon, oh, was Oregon, but this year was going to be California. Oh, see, I was right after all. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just to name a few of the bigger ones. I'm sure there's a lot more that I don't even know about. Right. But that's a real And problem. I just, yeah, I don't, I wonder if, you know, that, when, you know, that if they'll allow any permits to be pulled for events yeah. at all, yeah, I, you know. I think that's really going to be the, the thing that prevents a lot of stuff from happening. Because, I mean, it's in the interest of public safety, I guess, right? And you have to kind of go with what they say. You can't... Because, you know, I, I read on the news today, uh, some ding-dong illegally went into Yellowstone National Park. I, I just think that California's going to not allow the, the parks to be open right. for the, the uses. Right, yeah. Because you saw that somebody went into Yellowstone uh, yesterday, I guess, and fell into one of the geysers and burned herself oh. pretty badly. So, stay out of those parks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did not hear that, personally. Uh, yeah, that was in the news yesterday, I think. Um, question from Nico Rodriguez. It was asking if we could get some more bashers on the bench. Uh, no, not, I mean... Not really. <laughs> I, ha I have bashers, but I don't keep them in this room. Yeah, I don't, for I don't really have many i've got a traxxas udr which i guess is a basher is that a basher yeah i'd say so it's a it's a scale realistic basher right and i've got um, a kyosho blizzard i've got a arma infraction right you've got more of that stuff than i yeah. do i've got an arma infraction and an arma outcast then i i've got the proline uh what do you call this the ultra fusion Oh yes, yeah. The uh, SC uh, Proline Pro uh, Pro Profusion. Profusion? No, that's what we called it, isn't it? No, we called it the Ultra Fusion. Oh right, Profusion. I've never been much of a basher, but um, my friend Richard has an X Max, and that thing kind of gets me excited every time I see it. It's quite the quite the machine for sure. Yeah. It, it would be a it'd be a fun one to have but yeah i don't keep any in here because they seem to be dirtier cars yes they're larger cars and these shelves do not support such a thing true enough <laughs> I've, I've i've got the the ultra fusion just here on next to me on this other shelf but um yeah and then my infractions in the garage and it's covered in tired dust right sort of well i have my i have my kyosho uh uh what is this thing called? The Blizzard? No, the the uh, the car, the Nitro, the Nitro one. Oh, uh, why do I keep? Sorry, I keep free. My video keeps freezing. I keep having to fix it. Um, the what was that thing called? Inferno. Inferno. Uh, I have that so, in here. I love that thing, but I'm pretty sure I melted the motor on the final attempt. I 
definitely melted the motor on the final attempt. And maybe melted the body a little bit. And, yeah. Well, because you're cheating. <laughs> um. I also have an uh, Kyosho Inferno 8 scale buggy. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. The MP9, right? So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good car. No, the, the Neo 3.0. Oh, that's the latest one. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I should have. I should have asked Rachel what car it was. <laughs> she would know. Um, well played. You know it's the most competitive class, right? <laughs> it's true. And, and he's not even running Nitro. He's running 8-scale electric. Anyway. Um, Michael was asking if I was getting more shelving. No, I'm not getting any more shelving. What you thought was a uh, bracket is actually just the, uh, the water for outside. Just the the gasket or the uh the knob turning thingy no more no more shelves because i like the wood <laughs> wait oh it, right boom boom self-roasted boom yeah uh, uh, you know just kind of speaking on events a little bit more i know that there is dates that you know like probably by the fire and all those are there's dates for those there's there we can tentatively plan on them and, and tentatively yep. look forward to our our future yeah future good times and we'll i think we'll all continue to do that until we know different yeah but yep we'll put them in the calendar certainly hope to be there oh and then can can we kind of call our drag cars bashers yeah or is that is that its own thing uh i don't know is it its own it's thing? like i almost feel like they're not a basher they're a drag car yeah i I don't think it's a basher because you're you're not intentionally smashing it into stuff, right? You're not launching it off some sweet jumps, yeah, yeah. right? But what would you call just a a uh, like an on road car like my my infraction? Uh, next question, please. I'm, yeah, because <laughs> it's a basher, and I don't take it off any sweet jumps. Uh, maybe you should take it off some more jumps. I mean, they did in the video. Yes, they did. That was a great video. That was a really great video. The Arma guys, if there was one company that I would want to work for on the video side of things, it would be Arma. Oh, oh yeah, they God, do. Their videos are the best. They do fantastic yeah, work. I hope they're watching. <laughs> right. <laughs> My reel is available on request. It's also yeah, on that's YouTube. A- So, you know, bashers, I appreciate them in their own way. Yes. But. Yeah. Same here. I don't have many because I don't, I, I also don't have the space geographically around me to let one of those things rip. Like if I had an X-Max, I would kill someone. Right. Guaranteed. I mean, and with your house being three stories, it'd be so hard to jump over it. <laughs> so. It'd go right through the front window. <laughs> yes. You know, is a drag car a basher? And then what about a drifter? Or more specifically, a three-wheel amazing drifter that can almost look like it fits in the pole in my hand. Did you like my Instagram post today? I didn't see it. Oh, I, I definitely I didn't like it. you in it. Oh, Did you? God. I was busy all day. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll ask a question, or I'll, get a, I'll answer a question here. Uh, TJ's RC Garage is asking if you are related to me. No. We're not related. We are brothers from other mothers. Right. Yeah. No. Oh, oh my God. I see your Instagram post now. <laughs> <laughs> I invite all of you to go to my Instagram post from today if you haven't seen it. it yes, you should do that. <laughs> I, put, <laughs> I put these new uh, Pitbull Braven uh, blood axes on the Dancing Rider. <laughs> And I suggested that's a good tire for that car. (laughs) You know, that's, uh, you know, I I don't think I liked it just because I saw like that super old school looking wheel and I was like, I'm out. I'm not like that. But then you you reeled me back in. You should have led with, you should have led with that one. I know. Well, you know, I wanted to make sure I showed off the tire in its appropriate way. Right. Man, you know, now I'm wishing I didn't turn down the set of those that Pitbull was going to send. Yeah, because they fit pretty well on those on those 
those rims. Right. <laughs> Uh, oh, up? somebody said that they can smell that mechanical speed controller, and you know what? It does have a very unique smell of ozone. So it's, hey, Josh, what's the story with the wheels? What's the story with the wheels? Good question. What wheels? Which wheels? Yes. <laughs> what? Well, more important. They're pretty round. Yeah. You know, they're used to I, roll. I keep them on. I have them on almost all my cars. <laughs> Some of them, I've got six of them. Right? Do I? You must have a six by six. I don't think I have a six by six. Were you asking for parts for a six by six? I was. What are you building? And not a six by six. Are you sure? I've got. Oh my god! I've got three six by sixes. Either. Half track doesn't count. No, that's not including the half track. Oh, dang. Okay. I have a problem. <laughs> and one wow. of them is powered by steam. What a moron. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're so quirky. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, no, I, and I did find those parts, which were hard to find, by the way. Interesting. Um, well, because everyone's axle. building six by sixes. Or, <laughs> or yeah, most, probably that's probably what most people were looking for for using them. Yeah. Even. Even though that was not my intention. Um, but yeah, well, West Valley Hobbies. Mike Thompson in nice. West Valley Hobbies in Salt Lake City area. Got me Very got nice. me taken care of. Excellent. Good work. Got a mes- message from one of the Salt Lake guys. Uh, I can't remember how to say his Instagram name, but his real name's Ruben. So thank you. Very cool. He said, hey, I know who's got one. He ordered it for me. <laughs> and I don't need it. And then I bought the whole 6x6 six six instead. <laughs> Uh, Bob A, so, if you have original gold front shocks for the RC10, I will gladly take them off your hand. So uh, why don't you message me on, I don't know, Facebook or uh, Instagram, and uh, we'll work out something. So thank you for offering those up. Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll the dice. Yeah. Me- pick one. Pick one of the methods. Yeah. And so you'll find me. Yeah. The uh, but no, I am looking forward to. Uh, to that little project. I think it should be a, a fairly simple and straightforward one, but also kind of cool. The RC-10 uh, rebuild? No, definitely not. <laughs> no, my project. Oh, I don't care not about yours. your projects. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't care about your RC-10. Either. Great. Perfect. <laughs> We're in agreement then. <laughs> um, uh, so the uh, chief gunny says here, pen spring mod or softer springs for an axial capper RTR. Why did people I call am, it the pen spring mod? Because somebody who looked up something old is called it that. Oh. And no, that is not the mod I would I would do. I do not like uh, running droop with with springs underneath the pistons. That is not a, a way that I like. Um, I would just run a different length shock that kind of sets you where you want to be. I I prefer always run a standard sprung suspension. Yes, uh, I disagree. But not necessarily strong. I, right. I like a droop setup when it's done properly, and um, I don't think a pen spring is as accurate as you could be. Um, it's probably better to get your springs from McMaster Car, where they actually publish like the the weights and, and spring rates and stuff. So uh, get them there if you're going to get them anywhere. Um, I did just get a uh, a new skid plate for my capper, though. Oh, I have one coming too. Where'd you get yours from? You got mine from UC Fab. Ah, he was sold mm. out, so I got mine from Spare Time Hobbies. So mine is uh, a carbon, carbon fiber cut fiber. sides and machine Delrin for the base. Yep. Mine's printed, but it has metal brackets for either side. Right. So and um, I'm not hard on my stuff anyway, so I probably won't break it. Right. Another reason to take performance tips from Matt. <laughs> What? <laughs> wow. Boom roasted. Yeah. Fast and Furious tonight. It's good. Uh, um, this uh, Perry says, I came in late. Which RC10 did Matt get? A stamp? I don't know what that means. I, You know what, guys? I have no idea how to know if it's an A stamp or not. So uh, somebody tell me right now in the comments. I'll scroll all the way down and I'll look. Wow. 
So whoever owned this before, um, they actually this is so this is so cool. I'm gonna uh, bring up the uh, the proper screen here because when they put this together, they didn't bother to screw anything down in the area where the front part of the chassis meets the rest of the pan. They just glued it. The person who actually yeah whoever had it and owned it either ran out of screws or didn't put enough screws in and then hmm. didn't put any nuts in and just glued it so it's stuck together so wow so, yeah. that wow that's a uh, I mean I've ran across weirder yeah it's a good but... you know it it works um BT was actually referring to it, the KMC machete wheels that we made one one point nine machete, machete wheels because I had said I think I had said oh, so you have lost everything it's, it's still coming very soon but now is not very soon but they're com they'll be back they will be back very soon uh, my, my chat has gone all gobbledygook here so hang on a moment while I try to bring oh, it back. Now, it's probably fine. It's just them talking about vintage RC stuff, and it's impossible to understand. That's what that's what's happening. Uh, there, I'm back. I'm back, and I'm looking through. Someone tell me how I know if this is an A stamp or not. Right. Um, the you know my the little you sockany tuck tuck drifter that I got. Stamped on the chest. <laughs> Have you seen the Flamingo X Rider version of it that is not for drifting but for performance? Are you talking to me? Of course. <laughs> the other person we're doing a. How would I know anything about drift cars? It is a trike that is not a drift oh, car. I still wouldn't know anything about it. Where where do you get one of them? From uh, I think it's like X Flamingo or X Rider, and I'm. Something like that. This is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've never seen it. Well, yay! You really, <laughs> you should really pay more attention to to three wheeled RC vehicles. Yeah, it's uh, a big focus. Uh, I know. A lot of people <laughs> are into it. Uh, Alex was asking, uh, "What will I be designing on Sunday?" Since I've been doing the live streams where I've been. CAD designing while whilst Wheels. live streaming yeah. um, and I have not chosen that thing yet uh, you're all welcome for me telling him to build a, uh, a jerry can that was my idea yes it was I gave you credit at the outset of the video even oh thanks um, but yeah so I, I do have to come up with more items I think that I would like to come up with an item that's just not a just a scale accessory like actually oh, like this week sort of choosing an item piece, maybe. something that you know you're taking dimensions from other pieces to make them work in conjunction and um that whole, you know the whole thing cool. so that that will be what i'm going to try and look at this week is come up with an item for that oof it's pretty dirty in there i don't know if i'm going to be able to tell if it's an a stamp tonight is it behind the trans or under the trans? A stamps on the bottom of the chassis, at the back of the chassis, on the bottom <laughs> by the trans screw. Hmm. I don't know. It probably isn't. I don't see anything. Oh shit! It is an A stamp. Am I? Is it? Am I like more valuable now? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yep, there is an A. If that can focus on there. They, oh, let's see. You should design a jack stand on, oh, on Sunday. Yeah. Jack stands, uh, you know, the or a servo winch mount. Servo winch mount's a, a good one, too, because I could good. do it, you know, like for, uh, I mean, I don't know what for. A Viterra? I think all my cars, I don't have one of those anymore. What? You don't have a Viterra Ascender? Oh, <laughs> Uh, neither do I. <laughs> yeah, no. But I am going to Viterra Fest. 
because <laughs> it would be the best way to social distance. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boom roasted. It's good. Right. It's good. <laughs> Uh, Josh, my wife is buying me a 3D printer for my birthday next week. How about a Wraith skid plate? I stripped a screw on mine and we'll be printing one. Just need to file. Make one for, uh, make a bomber three gear. A bomber three gear skid plate? Yeah. Right. That's not a, not a bad idea. Things like that wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be too difficult either. I'm full of not bad ideas. The, the the whole thing I have a problem with with 3D printed skid plates is just the link mounts and all that on those that are actually it's just one of those ones that I, I've always been partially I've always been fairly opposed to 3D printed skid plates yeah. um, for like FDM printed I know I've actually had a 3D printed skid plate in my bomber right now yes, but it's different uh, and oh. it has actual machined side plates like this yeah which is very cool. You see very, very, very cool. Yeah, that's a good piece. I kind of, I, I wish that they weren't out of stock when I was looking around trying to find one. Right. Uh, Moose the, Jaw uh, said it's his birthday tomorrow. No oh. One, my wife asked if he wants camera equipment or electronics for a VS410. What would you do? Electronics for a VS410. Yeah, I would choose that too. I've I've already picked out the camera I want, so I'm I'm just gonna get it. And yeah, and you can't actually tell her which one that is, because then she'd see the price and then know what you spent when you got it. Yeah, hope she's not watching. <laughs> right. No, the trick is you always say, "I've had this forever, and when I got it, I got it on sale." Oh, that works for me, and it works for her. I was for the longest time it was, or for several instances of it, it was true. But I always used to say that I traded a pair of wraith axles for it. <laughs> but it actually did happen multiple times. Uh, that's good. But then it like became a thing. And... <laughs> I like it. It's really good. So you know. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, looks like most of the chat that I missed was about uh, events happening. Um. Yeah. Uh, Kazuma Drusen said that he just got his first RC car. Can't stop watching either of us. I know it's a problem that I have too. Um, he's done RC planes for a long time and he just got a low C Tenacity SCT and I just want it to do everything. Yes, most, most bits of this hobby though, you can't do it all. That's actually a really good mm -hmm. question. Is there a do it all vehicle out there? Uh, I'll say that the closest you can get to a do-it-all vehicle is the bomber. Yep, that's what I was going to say too. The axial bomber. It's, the bomber cage itself is very scale. Mm -hmm. It has an interior which is probably the most versatile interior ever created yep. and, belo and belongs in every vehicle. <laughs> um, it can, It will rock crawl very well partially due to its long wheelbase and large tires. And with its lar long wheelbase, large tires, and pretty decent width, it will also handle speed pretty well, or can handle speed pretty well with a little bit of, you know, a decent amount of tuning. Yeah. So that, I, I think the bomber is as close as it gets to a car, because if you try and get a basher, or basher, like the Tenacity, which is a cool truck, but it's yep. independent all the way around. Yep. You're never going to crawl very well with it. It's got too big of a body or a belly. So yep. it's like even the Yeti, which was, you know, handles speed a lot better. But that big, flat, fat belly on that thing made it a bear to try and get through any sort of rocks. Yep. Even when you try and actually build it to handle rocks better, which is what I immediately did when I got a Yeti, is I put in some. I locked the front diff. I put in some super beefy shafts, and it it just still it couldn't do it. Yeah. So I I one year I actually tried using a Yeti as my class three. So again, one of the main reasons we should take <laughs> performance advice from Matt. I look. I never said that I should. I give out performance advice. I don't. 
There are a few things I know about. That using a Yeti as a class three is not one of them. It was a challenge that I put under myself. And, right. Yeah. Was that at the East Coast Championship that year that you asked for my autograph? I did. I never did that. <laughs> Your wife is so wrong on that recollection. <laughs> What like, what do I stand to gain from getting your scrawl on a piece of napkin? Uh, you know what? No. Oh, I thought I signed. I thought I signed your chest. Was that not, that's what she had said. That was what the oh, story that's was. That's definitely not me. Maybe it was your hat. Maybe it was your hat. No, I no. I would have. And if I if I had, I would have burned that hat long ago. Right. I remember it was a hat, and it had a word spelled funny but wrong, and it was. <laughs> It's all coming back to me. Amazing. But, but was it that year that you tried to run the Yeti? Yeah, uh, no. It was probably a year feel, after that, I think. I feel like you were trying to drive something in class three that year that was a struggle as well. It, then you know what? I don't often compete in class three, so that was probably that year. <laughs> right. It was a mistake. I fully admit it. But I you know, I went to the trouble of locking the front axle changing the gearing to as low as possible putting a pretty decent motor in it like i i went to all the extremes to make it as capable as possible and i think i did better than some other class threes that weekend but not very much better i would never do right. that again you know uh dawson was saying you know sticks and 2.2s and heavy diff oil in the tenacity it should be a pretty solid u4 rig i think and that is not likely untrue yeah because some of the fastest U4 RC trucks actually are fully independent trucks, things like that. That's true. Those are the trucks that actually they do dominate that. But U4 going fast around a track that has some rocks in it is not necessarily the same as doing any sort of technical yeah. terrain. Yeah. Yep. So here, here's one. Can I can I test something while we're yeah? Go ahead. Well, since do your live, test. I hear it right now. So. Oh, do you? Then that's, you know. Well, currently I've got the, my, I'm using a new RTX in, you know, uh, EVGA graphics card in here. And it has this nice remove background noise feature. So right now it's on, but I want to turn it off because my air conditioner kicked on. <laughs> so now it's off. I just wanted to see if that made any difference. But if it did, great. Now I'm turning it back on. Yep, it definitely did. It's It's minor, but it's there. Actually, now it's totally gone. Amazing. Oh, no, it's back now. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just you. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. It's my voice. Uh, Dave Zilla uh, here on, on my channel, he um, he works at another local hobby shop. Well, not local to me. It's close to me, and I've, I've definitely uh, uh, patronized that place before. Um, he says that he has customers that pay half cash so the wives don't find out how much things actually are my that's brilliant yes one of the stereo shops i worked at they had a sign on the counter that said for five dollars we'll give you a receipt saying whatever value you actually want for to give to your wife <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> we're horrible people horrible human beings <laughs> but keeps keeps us out of trouble i guess Oh, okay, uh, well, let's breach this subject now. Oh, boy. Um, the subject of the new releases from Vanquish yesterday. Oh. Which was brass SLW hubs. That's an interesting which choice. It is. I presume you didn't make that choice. I mean, people want it. They want to buy it. Did you get a lot of requests? Like people actually emailed technical support? Mm, no, not for that. But it's just one of those things that you know is a thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do well. I mean, it does add weight. And it's not a large diameter. So flywheel effect isn't that high. Yeah, it's, pre it's, it's pretty it small in terms of its diameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Y you know. So, what? whatever. Cool. <laughs> Why not? But either way, yes, brass is there. And then the, the brass ones that we made the other day were like the shock pivots. And those are just, that's just a good material for that situation. That's well, not that's a lot weight. of weight up high, though, Josh. Uh, 
The jokes. Yeah, exactly. The jokes. <laughs> but, so yes, Braff. And for those that actually know what SLW stands for, it, it, it's, uh, it doesn't actually work out anymore, but... Super lightweight. Yep. Yep. That was the original. Because the SLW wheels that they first came with, it was all about a super lightweight wheel. There you go. And now we have brass SLW hubs. So. Great. I'm sold. Which yeah, I guess is exactly. good because I think you already sent me some. It probably, maybe. <laughs> yes. But that package that I was going to send you definitely went out. Oh, God. What was it supposed to send? I know a table thing, which is by my front door, and I've almost kicked it <laughs> multiple times. Table thing, uh, wheel weights, I guess now. Mm-hmm. Sorry, uh, SLW brass hubs. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. There's got to be something else. Just send me something. Yeah, just surprise me. Yeah, surprise me. Um, <laughs> Caleb Sam asked, SCX twenty four or Galande two. It's an interesting wow set what of trucks there one's very small uh, they are a lot of fun I like the SCX 24s but if you want to go outside and have some serious fun uh, and you're stuck on those two models I'd probably go Galande 2 first I mean they're so, they're so different though yeah it's such a it's such a <sighs> yeah I don't know about that one I, yeah, I'm I'm stumped between those two. That the other thing is that neither of those two are like the ones that are like directly in my. I do own a Galande too. You do? I do. I own the the D110 Galande too. Oh, the big one. Yeah. Was that always. when they were when they were making the bodies D110s, or when they were? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, it is when it is clearly two different bodies made into smooshed together yes um, yes yeah uh, I I mean there, there's such you a sure he doesn't mean the, oh too. Alex Alex Kelly saying they there is a 118th Galande too oh then I would definitely choose the SCX 24 I bet I bet Alex is correct Alex and you're I, probably right thank you for clarifying that do they call it a Galande too uh why do I think they do? But I think it's like Galande 2 118 scale. Hang on, I'm going to the website. Yeah. I mean, he says 118th Galande 2, so that's most likely the case. Yep. And then in that. In that's that. exactly what it is. 118th Galande 2. I would go SCX 24. I think you'll be happier with that one. It's a little more capable. Um, it's, yeah, uh, I've heard that the, the low end on the, the RC4 Drive minis is is not good no there's not a lot of low end right so thanks for the two bucks alan harris wow, um raking it in today yeah the uh i i have been thinking specifically with starting this sunday cad thing mm-hmm. the live streams so the modeling i thought about picking up another scx24 i just feel like those two things those two go together like i mean like you, what Rex you can Razor print did, anything right? 19 did all of those you, well, his is. I know it's way better than ne- what you could do, but um, well, oh. <laughs> challenge accepted. Come on, take it. Right, more than what I could probably do in Fusion SolidWorks. I'm on it. Well, go to Fusion. Work. Get on it. Which I'm diving into for the sake of freebie to tell everybody. <laughs> but I feel like you can 3D print anything on that scale, and the the strength is going to be more than enough. Yeah. So. I feel like I should get another SCX24 and start doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. That's uh that would be awesome. I would be all over that. Do it. So. Yeah. I think that I think that I should I should go that route. And I kind of like that as much as I'm a Jeep person, I kind of like that the truck. Oh, which one? The uh the Chev the gr- the Chevy with the the gray and black. This one. That one. It's dope. I'll, I'll trade you for a fab table. You're gonna give me that fab table though. I know. <laughs> I haven't even driven this yet. 
It's amazing how that works. Still clean. Oh, does it come with crawlers on it? Yeah. Why do I... Okay, I'll, Crawl, I'll get it. Crawl were TAs. No foams. Fine. Vented wheels, though. Um, yeah, there. It's it's a good little truck. I like my uh, SCX Torn Force. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna. I've been thinking about that as well. I'm, I'm gonna pick up an, an SCX 24, and then do a bunch of CAD stuff for it. Cool. Although CAD stuff on that scale is so boring looking, just because there's only, you can only put so much detail in a part that is like, like this big. Yeah. But I feel like I could do like a flatbed for it. Like somebody asked about that. Like, Ooh, yeah, you know, that would be big. a fun kind of thing to do. Like chop this body and then do a whole flatbed on it. That would be sick. Right. Uh, so I will take one. Thank you. Uh, yes, and right. all the. All the brass stuff. Oh, brass lock rings. Brass lock rings will be back in stock very soon. Good. For the VP wheels. I've been waiting. So. Um, yeah. Moose Jaw was asking, what do you think of ProLine's Class Zero tire? I think it will look odd. Do you? Uh, no, he's asking, do we think it'll look odd? Oh. I. Here's the, This is the problem with Class Zero, is that you've got to build some pretty non-competitive or non-lifted trucks. Like, you got to build pretty scale accurate to make these tires look proper. Like, if I put these Bravens, which are 3.45, which I think is the same size as the... That's smaller. 3.85 is the new BFT crawling class area. Still, that's a small tire. Um, Is there an actual set of class zero rules? uh, There is, yeah. Um, K&K had a set of, of... zero rules and yes ECSC has a set of class zeros um, so not one there's not a unified set not a unified set but they're pretty similar because uh, I think it was okay. sort of run by the same group of people uh, okay. I think GCM had a, a hand in it um, but Makes sense. it's a 4.19 or smaller and it has oh. to be branded okay like it has to be a tire you can buy in real life okay uh, that's the main rule for tire size. Um, they also they also suggest that if you're going to have you have to have one opening panel, whether it be a door or a, a hood or a trunk or, or door, uh, like in the back tailgate or whatever, whatever it is, right. it has to open. And if the hood is the thing that opens, you have to have a motor. Interesting. Uh, but they want it to be like a a true scale accurate reproduction of a of a vehicle, not like a, a crawler. So it should be like a work truck okay. or you know like um, like I was allowed to compete with the um, the the half track just because it, um, someone you know right Ryan Davis is saying that there's a better picture of the Proline van on Instagram Ooh. and. That makes me immediately want to. Uh, yeah, this this live stream is over. Yeah, exactly. Listen, it's all about the vans right now, but I also don't see a better picture. Maybe it's in their story. Check in there. Oh, because the stories are so long. As now. they do, they do repost a lot of stories. Yep. I'm almost through it, and they don't see it. Nope. I didn't see it either. No. Nope. Okay. Maybe somebody else posted it. Liars. So, hey, quick question. I have an Axial Wraith that I'm bored with. Any ideas to change it up and make it interesting again? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question for one, for Blazo and his Axial Wraith, but just in general with RCs. You know, you... So, a Wraith, I'm, let's just, for the sake of this argument, say that his Wraith is fairly stock. Yes. So, they're, they're pretty top-heavy. They don't they don't do anything that well, no. a Wraith stock. Um, so I could see how you can get bored with it. What I wouldn't fall into is the trap of trying to make it faster to do things. While I like wheel speed, and wheel speed is good, but like if you're the, your goal is to make something faster, you're not going to have a good time choosing a truck like that. It's just not going to end up how you want it. So I would say go through, find a find an example of a 
you know, low slung, sticky tire, um, you know, maybe like really spend the time to, to look into some of the, the, the performance things you can do with a Wraith that doesn't have to cost you much. You don't need to, you don't have to switch out axles and things like that. Just, you know, some better shafts and some good tires, some good wheels, things like that. And you can really, you can make a Wraith come alive. A Wraith is such a good truck. It was it was one of my favorites for the longest time, and then the bomber kind of took over what I always liked my wraiths to do. So then it just replaced that for me. I also never loved the style of the wraith cage, the the rear station wagony look. Um, so the bomber I like much more for that reason. But I like the look of the spawn though. When they did that body, that was better. Oh, with the body over the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like when you cover it up too. It, you know. <laughs> yeah, hide all the things you don't like about it. Right, that makes it easy. Um, the problem with the spawn was is that it, that body screwed on. There was there wasn't a way to actually use that truck in a way that was like get a battery in and out of that thing. Wasn't there? I thought you just slid it in through the back. Am I wrong? Oh, I mean, I. I guess technically, if that's where you kept the battery still. Oh well, on a stock. One. Do you st- I don't right, and I mean, I guess, I guess me. that. Right. Do you still use NICADs with that, or you got to pack? You got to pile those Kyosho batteries with your. I'm gonna try to charge this one up. <laughs> you should try and overcharge it. <laughs> well, what happens when you overcharge a NICAD? <laughs> right. What an interesting but... way to keep the battery in place. You have to use a. A hex wrench to get it off. Uh, nope, not that size. <laughs> of course, it's not a but, standard size. Sorry, keep going. Yeah. The, the, you know, but just talking about being bored with a, a vehicle and then wanting to refresh or kind of reignite that that you know plan for it. For me, I mean, I've run into that a bunch of times. Or now I I seem to just start over with something yeah. when I get too much into that but i understand like that's just not a reality for you know people that aren't that don't just breathe this stuff all day every day um so i mean some things can just be so simple as as changing a body and tires and wheels like what that can do for like just changing how you look at a truck yeah is it can be so much yeah sometimes it's it's all it's almost about the smaller things to make a big difference or sometimes it's about completely gutting it and you know <laughs> starting over <laughs> but um it someone said they sent me that photo oh good okay uh um, lane teague was asking what's the best budget rock racer and and then he calls out a bunch of um model numbers of machines i've never heard of um, so, like the WL12408, OR10408, Eshin EET04, or the Feiyu 03. And those are all those are camera gimbals and and FPV brands. Like <laughs> maybe maybe he's got it wrong. I don't I don't know. I can't help I, you. On I mean, that I'm one. sure they're, those are probably our vehicle. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, dude. Right. Ru- Ryan did say, I, I'll say that it, you always worry, like when you hear that a new body's coming and then you get actual pictures and you're disappointed. Um, like the I'm not. Cough Gladiator? Yeah, Cough Gladiator. Oh, see the, move it up a little bit. You see the, bu- the bubble, win- yeah. bubble window? Oh, sorry, you're over here. Yeah. I forget. <gasps> I want one. And then my video, of course, froze at the same scanner. time. Um, that's cool. So, it's got a bubble window, and which I'm wondering if is like an optional thing. I'm guessing that if it has a bubble window, it's a secondary piece, like a light bucket. Yeah. Maybe with a template, so you can Stick place it. it from the inside. Maybe they've got multiple, like porthole style or the diamond. teardrop style. Yeah. So oh, many man. options. I'm so, so excited about activity. vans. I don't even I'm know. Too. I have nothing to put it on. But I'm getting, you want to get one? It's maybe a Ultra. I put it on a VS410 Ultra. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm 
I don't hate the idea. Like, offer a van style? Like, okay. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I'll uh, build a I'm, drifter. I'm, I was almost thinking Class Zero. <laughs> Just a free, uh, free candy van. Uh, I mean, to me, it, I just... I need five of these bodies just to, to see where it lands. Like, Yeah. There's going to be a lot of chopping up, I believe. Yeah. I'm thinking one with the rear doors off and, you know, the, the Baja style or a, a Baja style cage. You know how you do Baja cages on a van? I'm going to do one like that. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, uh, someone has to. Someone's got to do it. Terrapin was asking, is the Capra a significantly better crawler than the Bobber? They're, huh. they're that... different. Um, the bomber is going to be able to, to probably just power over a lot more things than a Capra could. But I think a Capra, just from the way it's set up, and once you do a lot of stuff to a Capra, I think it would be a significantly better crawler. It would have a lower center of gravity because it's not it doesn't have as much mass. Right. It's a lot narrower chassis. Yeah. It's got a lot of but it's like a that's a that's like a really good one just side by side i wonder yeah the the size of the wheelbase advantage that the bomber would have over it the fact that it's a made to be 2.2 vehicle uh but at the same time like call it a, a sporty type rig which is a, a term used for shaft driven comp trucks yeah. uh, they're commonly about the width of a capra an AR-60 axle's often been seen as kind of too wide yep. for a, a 2.2 comp rig. Um, it's just, it's like, a, I don't know, it's a really good, and it, when you're thinking about gates versus just like raw capability is different. But then also, a trailing arm car can kind of be a, it crawls a little different because you've got these these fairly parallel and wide trailing arms. And sometimes they feel like they want to, hang up or drag a little bit and you have to use a little bit of a bump or some momentum yep. and just there's so much there it, it would be a really good shootout with two very capable drivers yes to see which would go either way yeah that would be really cool yeah it, that's a it's a really a really tough comparison yep. it is a tough comparison so someone do it someone compare the right. two for us um yeah, that's that. That would be interesting. Yeah. The like Jesse was saying, put the Super Scale twenty twenty kit in that van. <laughs> yes. It's, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. I probably need at least one more of those kits anyway. Just take the body so, off the Kyosho and you're done. Stretch the wheelbase. Yeah, stretch the wheelbase in that pan chassis. Yeah, just cut it. Haven't you done that before? Three right. D print a new drive shaft. Easy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, Ed was asking, which do you prefer, the Yeti Junior or SCX24? SCX24. Yeti Junior. Okay, how come? Uh, I don't, I didn't love, I lo like, I, I loved the concept when they first came out, and I had a lot of fun with it, but uh, I just found it to not be as mechanically sound, or electronically sound, as I would have liked. Um, okay. And a lot of people, I guess, you know, treated it a little bit differently than I probably would have. Um, but they tried to make it do stuff that larger scale stuff would do, and they tend to break a lot of things. So, hey. Yeah, that's the the Yeti Junior. I I had right right away, and then I've actually been. I don't have one now, but I've driven them more since. And I guess part of it is just that. I kind of like racing them around when you have a couple of them. Sorry, I'm talking to the dog, not you. Oh, I, oh, I could tell. You can do it, Josh. Keep talking you to the people. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're different, they're uh, different vehicles, though, right? Like the SCX24 would be like fun in a backyard. Or, uh, Sorry, the Yeti would be, the Yeti Jr. would be fun in a backyard. It wouldn't be fun in a, in a big area. SCX24, you can run that thing anywhere. Okay. Hmm. The the SCX, or the Yeti Junior, I see what you mean, fun in the backyard. Not so much 
it's not an indoor it's not an indoor vehicle no exactly the the SCX24 feels like an indoor vehicle in some uh what would you call it like selectedly chosen yeah outdoor exactly like when we first got ours at by the fire we played with them on big rocks they were fun right you know luckily for us we were at a place like horseman's park which has amazing terrain for that yeah, exactly. but if you're in say like where i'm from the midwest where you're you're hitting maybe small pockets of rock that's you know separated by vegetation like you not so much going to be the place for you no you have to have a pretty clean doesn't have to be clean it can be dirty but it, it can't have grass and things like that no exactly like it wouldn't it's not it's not gonna run on that stuff sorry i was very distracted by my dog yes lenny Uh, everyone keeps telling you your camera's exposed, ding dong. Fix it. Oh. I can't even see what you guys see on my camera sometimes. Right. Uh, Alan Harris, thanks for the $1.99. Uh, SBG for the win. Thanks for all the content. Hey, thank you for watching. If it wasn't for you, I'd be talking to Josh by myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> We'd still be doing the same thing. But. Yeah, exactly. We'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> Just without everybody watching. Yeah. The, uh... Sorry, I can't... Fixing my webcam is a whole nother... That's a whole other set of problems. Right. <laughs> Spinal Tap Tour Van. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's... Or, like, we. I, I feel like... It would really, I would really want to take my airbrushing to the next level and get the tough body so I could paint it on the outside and do like a whole mural on the side. Like, yeah, you know, that's like a lot. Guy holding a, a chain with a tiger, like a ferocious tiger, and then like a lady in a fur <laughs> bikini. Like, right. Like, resting that's... up against him. <laughs> I would totally do that. If, if I. <laughs> Like Siegfried getting chewed on by a tiger, and <laughs> well, maybe not that far. Um, uh -huh. But uh, man, if I why is my thing now? It's not switching. I can't switch now. There we go. Um, if uh, yeah, if I was a good airbrush painter, I would do a seriously awesome mural. It reminds me of the fair because there's this ride that we go on called the Polar Express, and it's got all these wicked airbrushed scenes of like nordic ladies and white tigers and stuff yeah i, I think we've all i know exactly does it go through like the tunnel on the back side of it uh-huh and the yeah. guy in the dj booth going you want to go faster like, oh yeah. that's right and then it goes reverse <laughs> it always went reverse i've never gotten forward on that ride ever doesn't it I mean, it goes one way and then it stops and goes the other way maybe maybe in america they don't yeah. allow that here right words are nothing <laughs> yeah we could do like a, a contractor van just white yeah, that sounds <laughs> challenge that's, accepted yeah, that's right up your alley <laughs> you can get your chip brush out you're fine <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paint it with a brush just like the real one <laughs> uh, Lane I'm, <laughs> I, uh, I, I am, I'm sorry I can't really answer your questions because I don't know much about a lot of these models that you're you're calling out um, and you mentioned they're from Banggood uh, the only stuff I've had that's been anywhere decent is the military uh, stuff which is like the Hummer and the, uh, the 8x8 uh, I can't help you on the other things sorry pal uh, I, my, my uh, dog I'm gonna do it. is yeah. you go ahead go ahead and then I'll, I'll tell everyone what my dog is I think we should all know he's a, he's a labradoodle like apparently 70 percent poodle 30 percent lab but the oh, more because you obviously had a dna test done on your dog didn't you yeah we did because he's a rescue <laughs> and we didn't know anything about him we, all we knew is he came from arkansas that was it so yeah we wanted to know more about his history 
I, I also did a uh, what's the other one? Um, <laughs> the one where you you uh, you send in your name and they tell you where you're from and who your ancestors are. Ancestry.ca or .com. I did Ancestry.com and they were like, "Sorry, he's a doc." We <laughs> don't know anything about him. Um, yeah, no, of course we did the test because we I wanted to know who he was. Um, but uh, he's way more lab than he is poodle for sure. He he looks more like a lab, and he's uh, tenacious like a lab is. Like he won't he'll play fetch until he dies. He won't stop. That's a lot. That's a lot of. That's why. I, I think that's I why I get, I'm going to say at this point I'm, I'm, I kind of like the cats. <laughs> hey, I've got two cats too. We've had more cats than we've ever had dogs. This is our first dog. Um, probably won't be our last though because this one's pretty amazing. Enough about dogs. Right. What were you going to say about? Uh, oh, I'm just reading some of the 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 amazing van you know suggestions. Ah yes. That, I you know I think. If there was ever the chance of being able to do airbrushing, the, the world explodes with possibilities. Not going to happen over here. No. Come to my channel if you want to see van art. Y yeah, exactly. It's I'm going to have to find somebody who's really good at being an artist, and then I'd have to like have it printed and <laughs> whatever. Yes. So I'm thinking like Walmart meat truck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody suggested, <laughs> Lawrence Wilbur suggested Carol Baskin in a fur, fur bikini. Oh. Uh, <laughs> For some reason, I feel like Harold would be the one in the fur bikini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah, if anyone's wearing a bikini, it's Harold. Uh, small factory said we should have attended the Van Nationals this year, and he went. He said there were hundreds. Wait, is that of a thing? Yes, of course it is. Many on his Instagram, and uh, his Instagram is uh, Small Factory Studio. Uh, oh, I know Small Factory. Yeah, Tim's a great guy. And uh, that is one heck of a... Ah, there, he tagged me in it, too. Thanks, Monster Parts. What a... That is a teardrop. It's not a circle. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, this looks so good. Or maybe maybe I didn't call it a teardrop. I, th I thought I did. I want it. Oh. That's definitely a cutout that they placed, like, glued in behind it. Yeah, exactly, right? So you have to think that it, it can be Sick. placed wherever. I can't I wait mean, to have that. <laughs> I didn't know I wanted it, but I do. Here you I'll didn't show. know? Well, I didn't know that it was going to be a thing that I would want, but I do. Oh, I mean, go. look at that. Yes. So good. Can't wait. I'm. I see all of the photos on yeah. Small Factory Studios Instagram now. Tim's got some good vans on there. I remember going through them. Oh, Red Green's van, the possum van. Oh, the Red Green van. Had the they did the uh, aquarium sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> Duct taped on. You know that's a Canadian show, right? I did know that. Okay. I did know that. You're welcome. That I mean all of the suggestions for A Team of course. However, A Team was before my age. Like I didn't know of the A Team. Okay. Like, that was that wasn't a thing I really knew of until it was like a more of a pop culture thing later. You know. You're more familiar with the one that I've never Bradley Cooper. I've never was even. In, I'm sure. I'm not saying the who. Bradley Cooper. They did a remake of the movie, like and made a movie out of it. Oh really? Never saw that either. I've never seen an episode of the Eighteen. The the closest thing that I've seen is the Family Guy rendition. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so. Yeah. What other good bands? There's the uh, the one from Dumb and Dumber. Mine yeah, I cuts. I feel like a lot of the the you know Mutt Cuts, the A Team, those. I think I feel like we're gonna see a lot of those. They're always so that's they're all so expected. You gotta do something it's, out of the exactly. ordinary. Exactly. Exactly. Like free candy is a great idea, but it's 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 going to be it's gonna be done. A literal million white van yeah. army. It's so yeah. That's the that's what becomes hard is to actually choose the the unexpected or the. I'm absolutely going to scroll through all of those van photos later. Yeah. Several times. Yeah, he put up a lot of good vans. Uh, 
the red green van though that could be something I could do I could see myself doing that uh, Perry yeah, Gower that's... said the Pactor's going to sell out of all their glitter colors finally <laughs> yeah. it's true. Like, we've been sitting on these forever <laughs> I don't understand it. All of a sudden, we're selling all the glitter colors. <laughs> I might use actual glitter. And just <laughs> brush on a coat of clear coat, throw in some glitter. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. Good stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, I just, I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah. There was. I'm more excited okay. than I should be, I think. I just, I feel like I'm going to get it and then just stare at it to try and come up with what to actually think. You know, I, I thought that I was going to be most excited about that MST uh, J45C oh, right. bot. Yeah. Because I do love that, that half cab FJ Cruiser style. Yep. But now I, the, the van has just absolutely. Yeah, MST who? So yeah, mi- the mystery machine's another one. That's like another A team. There's just, you're gonna see a bunch of them. Yep, that'll be a thing, 100. So let's yeah, I'm gonna go unexpected. I think I think something a little bit out of the ordinary for me. Yeah, I I mean I I assume mine as well. Um, yeah, and white. It, yeah, way out of the ordinary. <laughs> Exactly. Cream. Actually, no. Yeah. What's it called? It's going to be Racing black. White. It's going to be black with free candy on the side instead of white. <laughs> like brown. Yeah. Hello, Tamia. Why don't you make brown paint? They don't make brown paint? Not in a PS color, they don't. Oh. You gotta, yeah. You gotta that's... mix your own brown. Ugh. Sounded odd, too. No, yeah, I, this chair. I gotta move my chair back. My legs are killing me. I've been sitting all day. It's been a long day of sitting. I, yes, I was. We were very busy today, and now I'm very sore. So, I will be sitting the rest of the day instead. Yeah, yeah I, uh, my job is to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and you know me, my terrible back. Oh right, but yeah, they. Uh, I think it'll be an inch. With all this time, we're all going to have on our hands without a you know traveling to van or traveling to vans. Where are we going? <laughs> we're going to Florida. You kids no. don't stop and <laughs> turn this van back around to Winnipeg. Just thinking, with all this time, we'll have not traveling to events. We have. <laughs> The first event that we all show up at, there's going to be 300 of us, and we're all going to have vans. It'll be Van Fest. <laughs> Look what I built. Look what I built. Wow, van. <laughs> you know they're going to sell out of those vans, too. Oh, man. that's I I want to know who the first person was at ProLine. Can we call Paul? Yeah, call him up. Actually, I'll message I want, him right now. I, I, want, I want to know. Who was the one who said we should build a van, and what was everyone else's response? Right. Like, like the the. All right, hear me out. <laughs> Before no. we build a we we build a van body. <laughs> I asked him. We'll see what he says. He was active nine hours ago, so I'm sure he's like just waiting for somebody to message him. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's got kids and a life, but come on, Paul. We've got yeah. a show to run here. Nine nine hours ago, it seems like he should have been working still. But the uh, well, I guess he doesn't necessarily that isn't necessarily being work at work if he's not no. acting. Um, yeah, it's it's a hard meeting to to imagine happening, and them going, you know what? That's a great idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> that, like, obviously yeah, it is. Yeah. And whoever, whoever came up with it, is 
you know, a visionary, but I just want to know what what the response was first. Yeah, I don't know. You do, do you? And they're like, he's it's somebody like you know doodling in a notebook or whatever. It's uh, it's Robert California, and he's sitting there doodling away. And they go, we should do a van body. And he's going, oh, yeah, okay. And at the same time, he's writing down fire the yeah. person. Right. He's crossing the name off the winner's list <laughs> and putting it onto the loser's list. Oh. Um, <laughs> I got an answer. They thought of doing a van a while back. I guess I, well, I don't think this is privileged information. Uh, but he believes Robert was the one that solidified this direction. Hmm. And he wasn't fired right. question mark <laughs> so yeah that's just I'm hmm. just trying to think of what other platforms I mean well yeah what are you going to put it on For, first of it, all it looked the it looks so, like it's on a crawler of some type. Some sort of... Well, it says it's for 12.3-inch well, crawler. Then... Sc- scale truck, whatever. Sca- scaler. But what... what a... Scaler. Scaler. Um, what I'll be interested to see is, like, what you can actually do for tire clearance and things like that. like the wheel wells are pretty narrow. Right. And being that it's a van, it will have very good approach angle. Yes. But... If you can't enlarge those openings for a good sized tire, it. I mean, if you do, you're going to start making this thing look real, real yeah, funny. That's that's yeah. something to be concerned about. Um, yeah, I. Uh, one thing I should I should have mentioned to you before that I forgot to to mention about Class Zero because you were saying this could be a great Class Zero truck. Class Zero doesn't allow for Lexan bodies. What? What, Bobby? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So, so there's that. You could do class one. Do class one. I mean, what? You can still put a. You could get a four point one nine tire under there. Get some of their new I... mini crawlers under there. I mean, if you're building a class one tire, you need as big a tire as possible. You need a 4.19. <laughs> All right. Wait, are like, you going for performance again? Right, exactly. I just I, I'm doing this wrong all the time. Huh. Oh, a well, Moose that... Jaw said a, a scalar van. Is that like a van with scales? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Richard joke. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of scales? What kind of scales are we talking so, about? Hmm. So, yeah, there goes your Class Zero dreams. Yeah, they were... You were never going to do it anyway. No, no. definitely not. But... Class you know. Zero can be fun, hmm. though. The courses are super easy. The, the hardest thing you have to do is a three-point turn. There's hardly any water. No dick. No dig. <laughs> no, no dig. I'm just thinking about like the guys who have to try and put an interior in this van. Oh man, like, I can't you're, wait. You're gonna have to do a modification to certain vehicles to put the motor back in the center <laughs> so that you have room for your interior. <laughs> right, there's not gonna be any room because of where the motor sits in most of these modern scale <laughs> trucks. <laughs> try and put it on an SCX ten three and you're like oh, dang. I don't have room for interior. The motor's in the way. Like... <laughs> you can transversely mount it, I guess. <laughs> right. Like one of those other PG or P6, P, PL6G 409s. <laughs> right. Oh, man. There's one of those with a transverse mounted center transmission. I, I don't think I've ever spent more time talking about vans in my life. You haven't and lived. You know, you know why? I get. You know why I know that? Because the the number of because yeah, your views are going down. Viewers are going way down. 
<laughs> yeah. Can you guys yeah. tell I, that we have I, very I, little to talk about this week other than the movie and vans? I mean, we can. I'm I'm willing to go back to the movie. I have more oh, thoughts. All right. Already. Well, let's talk more no. about the movie then. <laughs> I would really like to bring. I, are you on Team Rachel or are you on Team Fiance? Uh, honestly, from the from my point, it's, uh, I'm on. The, I like this question already. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. At this point, from only seeing what I've seen, I'm on Team Fiance. Oh really? You think Rachel's a bit of mm-hmm. a uh, homewrecker, do you? A little well, bit. Okay, but she didn't even really like. You the don't guy. know what she knows. She didn't what? really like the guy from the very start. How do you know that? Rachel. She let him drive a truck through her legs. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't right at the beginning. You know, I think because right when they first met in this clip that we shared, she was like, "You're an idiot. Get get your get your noob ass no- out of here." Nicole literally calls me an idiot 50 times a live stream. Loves me. I know. I, uh, I was, oh, so you're saying that that's like a term of endearment. I'm just saying you can't go by that. She did seem a little bit ah. snooty, though, about the fact that he was competing in the most difficult class. <laughs> right. The, you don't, don't know, you don't what, know your what your car is, is but, but here you are. You never had your car. You never had you never had me you never had your car <laughs> sorry it's fine. All right. the, but I'm just not getting warm fuzzy already <laughs> whose kids were they in the driveway when they are jumping oh, the house that's a good question that is a good question um, I don't know let me take another look at the trailer here if, I already I already deleted the scene, so I can't do it on my you on my end. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, there's like the garage is closing. There's a little kid with like there's a kid like with an iPhone filming oh, yeah. the That's epic right. house jump. Whose kid is that? Is that Rachel's kid? Neighborhood. I... Why is he always dressed so preppily? Says Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, you know, the outfit that he's wearing in that scene where he's closing the garage door is the exact same outfit I wore to Proline by the fire. <laughs> <laughs> On the plane, anyway. <laughs> Incredible. So, yes, I can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> but, yeah, someone... Release date for the movie is May 18th. Thank you, BT. Oh, and BT for a donation as well. Oh, Towards Friday night's live builds. Oh, wow. No more howitzers. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a terrible choice. Yeah, and as a scale yeah. modeler, I'm the first to admit that that was bad. Yeah, agreed. So, uh, what movie are we talking about? It's called Flying, Flying Cars. Flying Cars. You You'll be able to find it on iTunes. The link is in my description as well. Uh, Perry, and, and Axial I'm... Fest Indiana is still happening. That's Badlands, and that's moved to July now. And I'm, I'm still contemplating it. If you should I don't go, know. We'll... I'm going to drive down. I'm, I'm driving. I would love to drive out, but it's a long. It's just I, I would I would love to drive. But I would love just to drive way, out your way. I'd love to do way it more, cross way country. more time. Cross yeah. country sometime. I'm going to do it. Oh, so. hey, uh, speaking of full size daily one to ones, were you yes. at a dealership today? Uh, yesterday, I was at a dealership. Were you seriously looking at a, a gladiator? Uh, I I am seriously looking. Good. We'll see. We'll see. Why, okay, so is it just because do you like the utility of that useless pickup truck bed? How how is it more useless than the back of our respective Wrangler Unlimiteds? Well, 
It's covered, first of all. It's accessible from inside the cab. Are you climbing over the seat to get back there? Yeah. When you when the, when you're accessible, do you not How have to get out and sleep? go around? How else am I going to go to bed? I have slept in the back of my truck already. I I have slept in the back of my Jeep as well. Um, but it was because I was really hungover, <laughs> and I needed a place to sleep <laughs> at, at work. <laughs> wow. It was after the Christmas party. Anyway, yeah. um, sleep it off. The the. What are you going to do? Are you going to cut all your 4 by 8 sheets of plywood in half before you put them in the back? You know, I, that is not even a concern. Because <laughs> you'd never buy plywood, I guess. Well, I, no, I mean, I steal my 4 by 8 sheets of plywood from construction sites. <laughs> <laughs> and you just let them, like, bow. Because you put Get it in... back here! <laughs> horizontally, too. You didn't even yeah. put it lengthwise in the bed. You just put it... I think it was like a ranger or a silver... Uh, like a... Canyon. It would be a ranger. It he would a, drive a ranger. Hold on. I think it was a canyon. No, wait. It looks like a ranger. It's probably a Toyota. I don't think it's a Toyota. I think it's a ranger. Ranger would make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible story. It's just, it's all over the place. There's all kinds of stuff happening. Yeah. yeah. I'm... Yeah, it's a ranger. Verified. I I will try not to make too many more references to said movie until I've watched said movie. I can't. My excitement has continued to build through this through the live stream. It's just playing in repeat in my head right now. I'm so stoked, and I hope that people actually go out and and, and rent it or buy it or whatever it is they. Uh, have offered because I'm in I'm in 100% I am too you know it while last week we got the email about this about being able to prepare it not gonna lie I was like ooh I don't know if that's such a great I know I was really as soon as I saw the subject of the email I was really nervous I was really afraid that we had really super offended these guys and they were like, and that, how yeah. dare and you? And then it was about the whole, like, if, when we premiere it, like... Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie, I couldn't keep in the the, <laughs> the giggles. Cease and desist. And, but your... You scum. Your, uh, our, our private conversation with to each other during the whole thing was like, you're like, well, you know, as any director, or producer, whoever they were, like, any publicity is good publicity. Absolutely. I'm like... <laughs> Wait until they've seen the live stream. <laughs> right. Wait until these let's, two ding dongs tear it apart. But since I'm like, okay, no, Matt was right because <laughs> I'm genuinely excited, and I'm sure that people will go watch it now. Yep. Uh, 100%. Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alan Harris um, asked on the Toyota SR5 build that I did and uh, subsequently begrudgingly gave to you. Um, for money, I think you paid me. For money, in exchange for money. In exchange for money. Uh, how did I clip the body to the chassis? Well, uh, Josh couldn't figure it out for the longest time. <laughs> okay. Or I'll tell you how he clipped the body to no the chassis. It was no clipping. It was all screwed in. It was screws. That would be correct. Generally, though, the thing is, is that most people, when using screws, like, say, in the slider area... They'll use a M3 screw for something that's tapped for M3. What was it tapped it's, for? It was tapped for M3. Yeah. You just had like M2.5 screws just kind of pushed through them. Did I? Oh. Yeah. Those weren't, that's not how it was originally done. I must have done So that. I'm sitting there with like a driver like spinning it and it's just, it's not coming out. I must have done that to mess with you. <laughs> I'm just like, what? in the world is going on here yeah that so, was not how i i did it it was m3s into m3 threads and up front mm -hmm. it was m2 and a halfs into the night customs grill and it all right. actually held together really well it did it didn't even want to come apart <laughs> but <laughs> sitting there with this with the hex driver and spinning it like it's not but and then it's like just barely coming out because it's like 
either like grabbing the so lex hand like, and kind of move. You have to put your finger behind the bolt and then. I push. grabbed it with a, I grabbed it with a pair of needle nose and just yanked it out of there. Like. <laughs> but yes, that's how I did it, and that's because I was using the scalar fab uh, sliders that already had a mounting position for something like a body. So that's how that. Works. You guys will be responsible for Flying Cars 2, the Revenge of the Bitter X. <laughs> I can see it now, them facing off in the you know, exactly, A-Main. She gets really good at it to get back at him. She, he's, 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 by this point, he's got a full sponsor shirt on and all this. And he's in the A-Main. He's got, his, he's got cool guy sunglasses. Maybe he's got a sponsor tie. He's going to be the first. A sponsor tie. Yeah, let me and check Teespring he's, and he's, see if they have those available. Is there a top? Yeah, see if we have... A, and then she's going to come in with her... With her new boyfriend who vapes. <laughs> Everybody vapes. And he's got, Spoiler. He's got, like, one of... Just the beard here. Right? Just down to here. He's like, kick his ass, Rachel. No, not Rachel. Rachel's the other girl's name. <laughs> kick his ass, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> And she's gonna come in. She's gonna. She's not gonna. She's gonna be in the, the LCQ and then the C main, B main. Oh, it's a yeah. face off in the A main yes. right before the battle royale. <laughs> and it's gonna be a photo finish tie. To, <laughs> I who knew. can jump the yeah. who can jump the higher house to win? <laughs> you know what? These things write themselves. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Views are going down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Evan Moore said he also confirmed it is a Ranger, probably 2001 or 2002. And it's Arizona beige. That's the color. Prime Ranger years. Damn, dude. <laughs> Evan, you know your <laughs> Rangers. <laughs> I feel like Evan probably doesn't subscribe to my channel then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know Evan does. I see him all the time. Yeah, good guy. Good guy. <laughs> uh, Matthew Small, I do not have any RC-related tattoos. I try my best to not do anything that uh, is a hobby or a job. Um, because... You don't have one film-related tattoo? No. Hmm. Not one. Never would have guessed it. No. So. got a lot of kitty cats and birdies, though. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> um well i don't know man this uh i'm i'm tapped out for questions i i think that we've we've done our I think we've civic done our duty, duty today tonight. yeah um plus you know i have a full day of doing things tomorrow so yes and i have uh i have a chassis to get ready for are you a are build. you gonna film uh any more bomber stuff tonight or what are you gonna do another video no i think i'm tapped for actual talking so i think i'm gonna sit here on the bench and get stuff ready to send off to max daddy's custom bits max daddy. for my... yep maxwell so can... father that's his that's right <laughs> <laughs> don't call me that was my father's name no uh, <laughs> nard man is my father <laughs> i'm the nard dog <laughs> <laughs> and on that note yes. our dog uh, thank you very much for joining me and thanks everybody for watching this has been a total blast um, I what, what thank, day sincere yeah. thank you to the producers for, for letting us have a, a laugh very sincere and, thank you because that was that was great I am genuinely looking forward to watching it What when does it come out again the 18th 18th which is five, five days, from, days now. from now. Which means we both should have seen it by the time next show is. Yes. We we should we should promise to not to not. We uh, won't discuss it personally or uh, privately until we've actually seen it. And and then we'll say that we won't completely just. I'm not going to base the whole yeah, show exactly. on it. We'll, we won't base the whole show. Uh, we'll... No spoilers I, either. No. Of course. So. 
fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, All right, guys. everybody. Much appreciated. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. And, uh, and uh, yes. yeah, I, I should, you know, I haven't, I didn't do a video yet. This